1,800 years ago, in the second century, a man called Diognesus, he wanted to know what a Christian was. And he asked to have it explained to him. And this was written to him to explain to him what a Christian is. The distinction between Christians and other men does not lie in country or language or customs. They follow local customs in clothing, food, and in the rest of life. And yet they exhibit the wonderfully paradoxical nature of their own citizenship. They live in their own countries, but as if they were resident aliens. They share all things as citizens, and yet endure all things as if they were an underclass. Every foreign country is their homeland, and every homeland a foreign country. They marry, like everyone else, and have children, but they do not abort their young. They keep a common table, but not a common bed. They live in the world, but not in a worldly way. They enjoy a full life on earth, but their citizenship is in heaven. They obey the appointed laws, but they surpass the laws in their own lifestyle. They love everyone and are universally derided. They are unknown and roundly criticized. They are put to death and gain life. They are poor, but make many rich. They lack all things and yet have all things in abundance. They are dishonored and are glorified in their dishonor. They are abused and they call down blessings in return. When they are beaten up, they rejoice as men who are given a new life. In short, what the soul is in the body, that the Christians are in the world. The soul lives in the body, but is not confined by the body. And the Christians live in the world, but are not confined by the world. God has appointed them to this great calling and it would be wrong for them to decline it. Wow.